Okay, Jim. Uh, yeah, it was the CPU. There's the old one. Yeah, it is. It is bowed. I, I have to like heat up the pins and try to easily pry it off the board. And uh, by me heating up the pins, it also heats up the chip. And this is a plastic case chip, so it <laughs> it, it bowed because I was prying it up on one end. But it's definitely the chip. Uh, there's the new one installed in there. And let me show you here. Okay. Turn that scanner down a little bit. Okay, and rolls back over to the top. All right, now squip scan. There we go. I'll open the squelch. You can see what that does. I don't have a speaker connected to it. That's why you're not hearing anything. Okay, there she goes. Let me switch it back the other way. Going down now, you have to remember the radio setting upside down. I guess I could have flipped the camera over, but you understand what's going on here. Okay. So she's all done. I'll be getting her ship boxed up and shipped back to you. All right. I'd, what took so long was I was trying to figure out what damaged the chip. Uh, I watched voltages. I uh, hooked my logic analyzer up to it. I ran it, uh, you know, quite a few days on the logic analyzer just watching voltages. Uh, I had the threshold set to uh, anything over 5 volts to uh, save it, you know, to hold it with that if it got triggered, but nothing ever triggered it. So, I don't know, it's just uh, a, a bad chip, I guess. But anyway, she's working good now. All right. On our way back. Thanks, Jim.